now if we have something from the formula with q a plus b whole q here q mean there are three one we can write a plus b You can write a plus b, then another a plus b whole square. Because just now, in a previous video, video we all can decalculate about a plus b whole square. So a plus b, let it be like that. Then this one from the previous video, we get it equal to a square plus 2ab plus b square then now since we have two separate bracket what to do we break the first bracket okay leave the second bracket same a then into this one a square plus 2ab plus b square then write the next part plus b then second bracket write same then now we can multiply a into a square here we have two here we have one so it will become a3 then a into a, there are 2a now, so we can write a square because multiply. Remember, okay, when we have same base, power should be added. Then we have a and b square. They are both different, so let us write them both. Then b into a square, both are different, so we have to write them both. Then B into B. So here one B, here one B. That mean there will be two B. Then here one B, here two. So ultimately we'll get to the power three. So A to power three. Then we have B to power three. There are only two of them. So let us separate okay then here we have a square b do we have any other a square b yes here we have two a square b here we have a square b so both are plus we can plus here two here one so two plus one will be three a square b then here we have a b square here a b square this is plus, this is also plus. They are like them. So we can plus. So 2 plus 1, we get 3. Okay, so that means after that, you can see all are different term. We cannot plus them anymore. So that will be the formula become now. So that means A plus B whole cube will become, here you see, uh, if it is cube, then we have cube of A, cube of B. Then we have now with 3 because power 3. Okay. Then we use 2, 2. But what happened? First, we square A, we leave B. Then in the second part, we square, we leave A, we square B. Okay. So remember, when you have cube, it come cube of both those terms which are there. Then we have 3. We square first A, we leave B. Then in the second one, we leave A, we square B. So that is the easy way how to remember. So this is the first form. Then we can also rewrite them as. Because here you see we have 3, 3. So if I take common, then here also A, B, A, B. 
I may take common like that, okay? Then 3 will be put here. Here we have how many A? There are 2. 1 I'll be put there. So 1 I can put inside, okay? B I'll be put here. So here plus 3A we already put there. B square, 1B we already put here. So another B there, okay? So this will be the first form. This will be the second form. So if they say expand, you have to use this. But when they say factorize, you'll use this, okay? So remember formula A plus B whole cube. They have got two form. One is of this kind and then one of this kind. We may have to use it both. So remember if they say expand, we use this. But if they say factorize, too. So sometimes you use this, sometimes you use this. So but remember they are the same formula. Then from this formula only you see if you want to produce another formula here, no? A cubed plus B cubed. So what to do? This two, we transfer them that side. So we will get another formula. A cubed plus B cubed. Then what to do? This two, we take them that side. So it will be this one we already have, no? Here, A plus B whole cube. A plus B whole cube. Then this is plus, take that side, become minus 3A square B. This is plus, take that side, become minus 3AB square. This is the first form, okay? So now it become A cubed plus B cubed. Remember, we exchange the position. We get A cubed plus B cubed from A plus B whole cube only, okay? We only exchange the position. So this is the first form. And this one, we may write it like this, A plus B whole cube. So if we take common, suppose this two, okay, we have 3AB, 3AB, common, 3AB. Then here we are left with A minus 2 minus plus then B, okay. So this is the second form, clear? Then suppose C, A plus B whole cube. A plus B. They are common, no? We can take common A plus B. Then, here there are three. We already put one. So, we are left with one more here inside. Bracket. Then, this one we already put there. We are left with this one. Minus 3AB. Then, here you already know the formula. A plus B whole square. So, we become A plus B. Then a square plus 2ab plus b square. This is the formula of this. Then minus 3ab. Do we have like term? Yes, ab, ab. So here we have a plus b whole. Then a square 3. This is minus, this is plus. So we have to minus 3 minus 2 become 1, no? 1 a b plus b square okay so you can see that mean a cute plus b cute we can write in three form this is the first form this is second form this is the third form when they say expand we have to use this two when they say factorization or we need the factor we'll use this okay so that mean if you know you can see that if you know only a plus b whole cube the other Okay, this one you know, then the other you can transfer. So in that way, you can get how many formula? One, two, three. But remember, all these three, they are the formula of A cubed plus B cubed. Then from where A cubed plus B cubed come? It come from A plus B whole cubed. So here there are two form, but if it is, they are not same, okay? A plus B whole cubed. Here we have separate. Cube. So they are not same, but they come from one another.